Sorry. I was getting a phone call and I could see the text on the bottom. Your recording is stopped. And I'm like, oh, great. You know? So, part three. <laughs> um, like I was saying, you know, I, as a child, was, you know, telling my friends that I was growing up with that, like, I need to find my true love in life before I'm famous. Because after I'm famous, I'm not going to really know who's real in my life and who's not real in my life, so to speak. Now, as a child, you really don't have any idea why you're saying this or, you know, whatever you're saying in your own life. But I'm giving you examples from my own life so that you can take a look at yours. Um, what that is is even from your childhood, God is giving you, and like I was saying before I stopped this, you know, whether you call it God or, you know, Shiva, your source, your creator, your energy, you know, whatever, there's tons of names and all religions have a different name for it, you know, Zeus and everything. Um, our source sends us our thoughts and our, you know, visions and everything. That's from Source. And when you look back on your life, as I am now 40, and I'm looking back on everything in my life up to these 40 years, what that is doing is giving you little clues and little pieces along the way of what your life is to be, your path in life, God's will, you know, and what God intends for you to become and evolve to, and what your life transpires to become, you know, that's what that is. And like I've been saying, like, if you look back, you can see where, um, all your thoughts and all of your little moments, you can look back and see where they've evolved into your presence. Now, we don't really know ultimately what it is until we're able to look back. Because for whatever reason, our source, our creator, the one we call God, you know, and Shiva, you know, um, doesn't really come down and say, hey, look, when you get older, right now you're only two, but when you get older, this is what your life is going to be, and I'm going to, you know, lead you on this path. And when you look back at the end of your life, you'll see where this is what you did, and that's the path I wish for you to be on and take. You know, it would be a whole lot easier, but that's not the way it is. So for a lot of you out there that are questioning, what does God, and we'll just say God, right? You know, or Shiva. And I like saying Shiva, because um, Shiva sounds a little more personal to me than saying God. So, and I call him my Lord, you know, my love, you know, and me no more. Um, but giving him a name other than God, which seems like a name everyone else is going to use. So I'm really getting into calling God Shiva. So if I say Shiva, you know who I mean. Um, it would be a whole lot easier on all of us if Shiva would come to us as a manifested human form and sit down and talk with us. <laughs> That's not the way it is. But you will be able to look back upon your life and see where Shiva has actually given you clues as to what your life is to be. Now, I don't want to keep saying, like, I'm living in, you know, crossroads at this point and living in uncertainty with my foot and everything. And I want to do, but I'm not sure if I'll ever be able to do again, that kind of a deal. Because I understand that this is the life I'm supposed to be. When I look back at my, you know, at the end of my days, let's say I live to be 125. Really, but just let's say. 
you know i my life takes me to being 125 you know um i want to be able to say you know look at all i've done not just look at all i did up until i i was 40 so i understand what shiva or god you know whatever um has chosen for me and my path in my life now that also manifests you know not just with all these thoughts and being alone and having a party moment you know as a kid growing up like what am i going to do in my life you know i can't be a guitar player anymore because the 80s are over I moved to Hollywood, and the very first concert I got to see was the Scissor Sisters at the Shrine. Okay, Freemasonry, <laughs> you know? Look up the Shrine. That place is so beautiful, and it's from Shriners, right? And ultimately, I'm becoming a Shriner. Well, I hung out with Dave Grohl that whole time. And I had such a huge thing against Nirvana for all of those years. Like, you ruined my career. I wanted to be a rock star, you know. And like a stupid little kid, you know, I actually told him all about it. But I hung out with Dave that night. And, you know, so there's another example of how, you know, life manifests before you. And you can look back and see how things have evolved and manifested. It goes back before I was even born. My grandmother and her mother. So we're talking like back into the 1800s. We're all about movies. And when my grandmother, being some of the richest people on the East Coast growing up, um, you know, when they first started getting the televisions... <clears throat> You know, her whole thing was pulling the past forward by explaining all about how her and her mom, you know, would go and see. And her mother died when she was little. Um, so that's got a lot to do with why she keeps talking all about her parents. You know, um, they would go and see movies at the local movie theater. And, you know, it was like a real big thing for them. And her mother... So my grandmother's mother, which is my great-grandmother on my father's side. Um, entertainment. Movie stars. Even from silent films. You know, that was a very big thing for them. And that was their bliss. Flash forward into my life. And here I am. So some of the things are clues along the way from their childhood growing up as to ultimately what you're going to do with your life. Like it or not. Now you can use it to your advantage and start writing things down, which nobody's going to do, dude. But you should. Because if you're having any moments of like, what am I going to do in my life? Which a lot of people, especially younger people, really don't know what they're going to do in their life. Take a look back. Take a look at your past. Because your past and your family's past has a lot to do with what our creator has in store for you and your life. And that's a blessing. For me as an actor, I mean, like, I've, I've made the comment before, I'm a huge Tesla fan, and I had seen Jeff Keith years ago in an interview, which I have the VCR tape of, you know, I um, mean, he's like, you know, it, it's funner than pumping gas. Well, when it comes to being an actor, dude, it's funner than pumping gas, man, <laughs> you know. Um, so... I think all of you out there will not only at no matter what age, you could be like twice as old as I am at this point, you'll be able to look back and see how things have evolved for you and how they weren't really conversations like in a human to human form, but our creator, our God, our Shiva, you know, our Zeus and all those other words um, really have kind of talk to you and shown you things 
as to who you are and who our source and creator, our God and Shiva, wants you to be. You know, I had heard in arguments, and they were the ones arguing, not me, from a lot of preachers in my life because of my accident, um, telling me, you know, about guitar. That's not what God wants you to do. God wants you to do what he wants you to do in all of this. And it's like, thanks, dude. You know, and they've turned it into a really big argument. But at the same time, like, it's kind of true. There's things that you'll say you want to do in your life, and you can help evolve that along the way. But if it's not what your path is predestined to be, that's not what's going to transpire before you. Ultimately, it's going to evolve along the way. And that's God's way. Not so much yours. But you can co-create with. And that's the blessing. So if you really take a look at your life and all those little moments in your life, you know, that have like, why would a child say something like that? You know what I mean? Those examples with your own life. Write them down, dude. Because you'll get a better feel of what God is actually intending for you to be in your life. And that's where you can really take co-creation and run with it. Because once you get on the same page, the sky's the limit. You know, obstacles will no longer be. Now, I'm getting some obstacles along the way, you know, like my foot and so on, right? But um, with that and, you know, like with my show here, God Bless Freemasonry, being an actor and so on, you know, and I kept hearing Wayne in my head and all the other gurus of our time, everyone from Ernest Holmes, you know, to Plato and everything, um, you know, like you create your own. And if it's with the grace of God, there you go. So, I'm just going to stop for now. I'm going to work on uploading these because, like, for whatever reason, dude, it takes so long to upload videos. And I've already got, like, three now because I got a phone call and I had to stop and everything. Um, so, I'm just going to get these uploaded for right now. And then I do want to go into reading another verse tonight um, of the Tao Te Ching. And it's been, what, a day or two since I've done any sort of Masonic terminology. Um, so I do want to get one of those up as well. So i got a few more videos lined up that I'd like to do for tonight. But I've got three right now that it's going to take a little bit to get uploaded. Because I'm uploading these from my phone, <laughs> you know? And thank God for unlimited data, dude. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns along the way, like I keep saying, place them in the comment section of YouTube. So they're all in one place and everyone can just pull up the YouTube video and, oh, there's comments, and see them. Rather than... What if somebody's watching it on YouTube? They're not going to see your comments from LinkedIn or Facebook or Twitter or whatever, right? So place all of your comments in the comment section of YouTube. And it just makes it easier for everyone else to see. Even if they're all slams, dude, run it up. You know, I've decided, like I said, I'm not going to delete those anymore. Even with those that are death threats that I've gotten, I'm not going to delete them. I'll leave them there. I'll let other people see your comments, good or bad. And um, feel free to subscribe. I could use all the subscribers I can get. I can use all the fans I can get along the way in my life. And if, you know, if you think somebody else could end up ultimately being a fan of mine, I love you for it. And if you're somebody that works in entertainment... Not just in Hollywood. God, I think we're getting more rain. Dude, we even got hail today. Um, so, like, no matter where you live, if you're in film, right? Like, I just, you know, like I had said, had this dude write to me um, and wanting me to say stuff on the Rohingya issue. 
maybe I won't get to upload some videos today. Uh, um, so using my sense of platform to help in that respect. Now, no matter what I say with that whole Rohingya issue and, you know, like refugees in general, understand where I'm coming from as a human being. Don't just make slams and like, well, we don't need that in our country. Well, maybe you do. But I'm ultimately for the greater good of mankind. And I don't think that we should be so hesitant to help other people. I don't think that we should be instantly so negative towards other people and other countries and other cultures and other skin colors. There's a lot of racist people out there and a lot of negativity and a lot of, you know, what can you do for me, not what I can do for you kind of people. And that's not cool with me. So if you don't like anything that I have to say, which is ultimately peace, love, and harmony, you know, screw you, I don't care. You don't like it? Don't like it. Don't watch. I don't care. But I am ultimately on the path of goodness and trying to help others. And even though I'm on the D-list, and I hope to God it grows, you know, um, growing with more fans and growing my status up and all of that, right? Um... I don't want to make anybody mad. I don't want to alienate some people or whatever. But at the same time, like, I'm ultimately on the path of goodness. And if that's not you and that's not what you're all about, you just want to say something negative or whatever, post up your comment. Let other people see how negative you really are. I love you, babies. Have a blessed day. Now, because we are getting some serious storms here on the East Coast, I mean, like, I, we even got hail, dude. I was going to walk down to the store, and, like, it just started coming down. And for a couple of minutes of it starting to really pour. And I like doing all my walking. I've always walked because in 89, I was told I'd never walk again. You know, so even with my tumors and everything, I like walking. Um, and I'm walking and like, I'm like, oh my God, dude, we're getting ale. So I can see, which I've been looking out the windows, you know, for a couple of minutes now here, right? Um, I'm going to try and upload these videos. And like I said, I've got a few more that I would like to do tonight. If because of the stormage, <laughs> I don't really get a chance to do that. Thank God I've got a, you know, external battery and everything else. Right. But I'll try. So I love you. Please feel free to subscribe, share the videos, share all your comments, everything, man. Being there for you is one of the greatest gifts that I'm receiving. Having you as a fan is one of the greatest gifts that I'm receiving. And I'd like to give back. So I will be covering a lot of topics and one of which I was asked to cover, you know, the refugees and all of that going on. Not just in and around Myanmar and everything where I've got a lot of fans. And that's where the location of the Time Magazine, Time Magazine Macedonia had done that piece on me. Um, but, like, we've got problems like that all over the world. So I will be covering that as well. Hopefully just in a short video because nobody really wants to sit there and watch two hours of some dude talking. But, um, you know, and I, it was mentioned, you know, about a script. I'll do it off a script. I don't mind. As long as it's there to help benefit people, that's, that's okay with me. But I do tend to, like, have you know, on my tablet or whatever in front of me, some couple of key points and just run off with it. And there you go. So I'm going to try and get all of these uploaded as quickly as I can and try and get more videos pumped out to you tonight. So I've got, you know, with another verse of the Tao Te Ching I want to do and, you know, I at least want to put one more term out there Masonically. I love you. Namaste. Give back to the world and teach someone the word namaste. Say namaste.
all the time, dude. 